Hello students, welcome back to the lecture series Discrete Mathematics. In the previous video, we have already discussed the definition of set and few related terms. In this video, we are going to discuss set representation methods. The first method is roster or enumeration method. In this method, we list all the elements of the set explicitly separated by commas and enclosed in curly brackets. For example, all the natural numbers are represented as we write the first few terms and then continue. Or if you consider the set V of all the vowels in the English alphabets, then the set contains all the elements since we have the finite number of terms. In the example 3, the set M of the letters in the word Mahableshwar can be written like this using the roster or enumeration method. The next method is set builder notation where we do not write all the elements explicitly. Instead, we define a rule or condition that describes the elements of the set. We typically use a variable and a vertical bar to separate the variable from the condition. For example, if you consider natural numbers that are greater than 10 and less than 20, we write the set A as A belongs to N such that 10 less than A less than 20. Here, we don't write the numbers explicitly as 11, 12, 13 to 19. Instead, we just define the rule. In the example number 2, if you are going to consider integers that are less than or equal to 4, we write z belongs to set of integers such that z less equal 4 using the notations. This is set builder notation. Another notation is interval notation and it is commonly used to represent sets of real numbers. It uses brackets and parentheses to specify the interval. Here, the set of real numbers we can write as x such that minus 2 less than x less than 5. That means here we are considering all the real numbers which are greater than minus 2 and less than 5. In the example number 2, we have set of all the real numbers that can be expressed as minus infinity to infinity. In the example number 3, real numbers greater than or equal to 5 can be expressed as close bracket containing 5 and then till infinity. This is the inverter interval notation where we have open interval close interval or semi-close or semi-open interval. Then we have the Venn diagrams. Venn diagrams are graphical representation of sets, especially useful when working with two or three sets. A large rectangle is used to represent the universal set and it is usually denoted by the symbol E. Or sometimes u. All the other sets are represented by circles or closed figures within this large rectangle. In the example you can see that universal set contains all the numbers from 1 to 10, the natural numbers and the set A is a set containing all the even numbers in that range. That means 2, 4, 6, 8 and 10. And we can see the numbers 1, 5, 3, 7 and 9 outside the set. And that is part of the universal set. Mathematical notation. Sets can be represented using mathematical symbols and notation. These sets each denoted using a bold face letter and play important role in discrete mathematics. 
These notations are used globally. For example, for the natural numbers, the symbol is given and few other symbols are given. For example, for set of integers, for set of positive integers, then for the set of rational numbers, then the set of real numbers, then the set of positive real numbers and the set of complex numbers. We do not need to write the elements. We can just write the notation and then it is clear that which set we are considering. Then the next is the matrix or table representation. Consider the set A which contains 1, 3, 5, 7, 9. Set B as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. Set C as 2, 3, 5, 7. So what we are going to do is, we are going to use 1 to indicate that an element belongs to a set and 0 to indicate that an element is not in the set M. So in the first column we have listed all the elements of set A, B and C. So these are the numbers from 1 to 10. In the next column of set A, we will write 1 if that element belongs to the set A, otherwise 0. So we can see and observe the 3 column as like this. So this is the table representation where we use membership table to prove equality of the sets. We can see that none of the entries, none of the columns matches and therefore the sets are not equal. Using the same table, we can write the matrix representation of the above set. The vertical arrangement of the set can be written horizontally like a row matrix and therefore the set A is 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 0 and 1 0. So the elements are all the odd numbers. Set B and set C are given for the reference and we can see that the matrix representation here is used for writing the table representation or we can use the table representation for writing the matrix representation of the above set. This way, we'll stop the video. Thank you.